why is the lighting being a little um, can I please get an iced grande caramel macchiato? Okay, thank you. It's actually like 4.45 and I woke up like at 8 a.m. I don't know why, but I did. And then I was on my phone for like three hours and then I actually went and like did stuff that I had to do. And then I got back home and took a nap, which was the worst mistake of my life. Because now, because of that nap, I feel disgusting. Like I just, I feel really tired. Anyways. I'm gonna shut off the AC for like three seconds, okay? So you don't have to hear it, but just know that I'm like, right now that I just turned it off, the sweat is starting. Today, as you can tell, it's gonna be a road trip video. I'm so excited. These are actually, like now that I've done maybe like four of them, maybe more, I don't know. But they're kind of like my favorite videos because there's really no point to them, but you hearing me talk about whatever comes to my mind at the time. This road trip though does have a purpose. Like I am going somewhere. Um, I'm basically gonna go get food, but listen, it's really, really bomb food. I'm, it's, I'm gonna go to Cane's, and if you don't know what Cane's is, um, it's basically like a restaurant, and it's like a fast food kind of thing, but it's not common. Maybe, I don't even know, I don't know my facts. Um, but I'm gonna stop at like my cousin's house because it's like right in between, and then I'm gonna pick her up, and then I'm gonna go, and I'm getting my Starbucks right now because I feel dead, and I'm sure I sound dead too. <laughs> She's beautiful. I got it smaller today. I didn't get a venti just because um, I'm gonna go stuff my face. So maybe let's chill on the milk. The girl at Starbucks complimented my like nail color and uh, so many people have complimented my nail color. Like no one ever gives a shit about my nails, but people have been telling me that they like really, really like them. Tell me why I fucking hate them. Like I literally got them and I wanted to kind of like die. Low key, I was listening to like old Justin Bieber right now. I don't know why, like it just came up and I didn't skip any songs and I just listened to like a whole album. It was nice. So let me just tell you guys what's been happening, like what's been going on. Nothing, nothing has been going on other than it's been really, 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 really hot. There's this whole ass heat wave going on. And you're probably like, bitch, we don't want to hear about the weather. Like, talk about something that's more interesting. But listen. The weather has been taking over my life. Like, it's so hot that your brain stops working. At least for me. A lot of people go into the heat wave. They're like, okay, like, it's annoying. Let's just stay indoors. Here's the problem with that. In my house, we don't have AC, bitch. We have like one, two, three. We have like five fans going on 24 seven. We literally haven't turned off the fans since like June. But the thing about the fans, bitch, is that they like, obviously they like blow air. But the thing about the air is that it's hot air. Like where is it gonna get cool air if it's hot? All I've been getting is hot air in my face for the past week. <laughs> I can sleep for three days straight, no problem. Like if nobody woke me up, if I didn't have any alarm, I would not wake up. I love sleeping. But because my room is literally 110 degrees at like six in the morning, I don't sleep anymore. And it's taken a toll on my personality because I hate my life. I should just become a weather channel at this point since that's all I talk about. have I been doing? Nothing. I literally, I, oh, actually. So I saw this TikTok of like a scene from Pretty Little Liars and I was like, oh my God, like that literally used to be my favorite show in the world. Why am I like boring myself right now? Like I'm hearing myself talk and I'm just like, I do not give a fuck. Oh, my cousin's calling me. I told her I was gonna be there at three. It's literally 5 p.m. I'm sorry. It's gonna take 47 minutes to get there, which isn't bad at all because it's like traffic hour right now. I don't know why we chose this time of the day to go. It's your fault. Cause... Oh my god. Oh, dude, you know what's funny? Um, the first time I went, like the first time I went to Raising Canes, mm -hmm. Yerza was driving, right? And I was in charge of the navigation. I put like Raising Canes and I clicked on like the first thing that came up and it was like exactly like, it was like an hour and 30 minutes away. And I was like, okay, like this is it. So I pressed it and we were like going, it was like super fun, whatever. And we got there and it was like, oh, you're, you're, you've arrived to your destination. And we like looked around and we were literally like in the middle of a neighborhood with like, like houses. Like it was just fucking housing. We were like, what the fuck? And I looked and it was literally an insurance office. And I know, dude, and we were like 40 minutes away from where we actually had to go. 
and yeah, wanted to die a little bit. Did you think you could see the Hollywood sign from here? Yeah. No. You can? Yeah. Where? This dumbass isn't talking. Siri, hello. Oh, you know when you drive and you're like, you have to put down the music to see? Yeah. <laughs> that was me the whole ride. We're gonna time how much it's gonna take us to be in the line. It's literally 6.33 right now. Oh my god, this is cool. Go back. Turn around! Oh, that is cool. <laughs> We're like really, really close to the um, like the, the speaker where you order, and I've never been more excited. It's currently 7:24. This is go time, guys. We're about to order. After an hour of waiting, it's pretty. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of Raising Canes. <laughs> oh my god, it's go time. What's cracking? What's cracking? Our chicken fingers are snacking. <laughs> Would that be all for your order? Yes, please. Thank you. I love him. Yeah. I also had to get food for my family. We're not this hungry. A brat. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, bro. I grabbed soda of my friend. <laughs> the bread is literally the best part, and I did not wait in a one-hour line for one miserable piece of fucking bread. So I got ten. It's also for the family. Like they also want some, but like, but like for us. It's yeah. mostly for us. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Dude, I don't know why, but this happens every single time. Whenever I have like good food, I lag on eating it just because I want to like crave it even more. You know what I mean? No, you don't because you're on your second fucking chicken dinner. <laughs> so the guy that was taking our order that was like, what's cracking? What's cracking? He was so funny. And then when we got to the window, he was actually really cute and he seemed like really nice. But then he like looked at us to see who we were and then he looked away. <laughs> Look at this chicken strip. Look at it! Are you getting full? Yeah. Me too. When you have bomb ass food in front of you when and you, you get full, fucking like my stomach is so stupid. After I eat like a fucking cup of noodles, I'll still be hungry. You know when you're full and you get sleepy? Yeah. I'll be driving up like. <laughs> okay, so the next clip I thought needed some like some sort of explanation. So basically, my cousin does this thing where like no matter if she's like drinking water, no matter what meal she's having, no matter if she's like having a snack, it doesn't matter. She chokes on her food every single time. She'll literally be drinking water and she'll Like she'll choke so it happened here and I literally couldn't stare at her because I was going to pee my pants laughing And yeah, that's what this is <laughs> I saw it coming We're both really determined on seeing like the downtown LA buildings because it's just super super pretty at night. And my dumbass got lost. So we're going back until we pass those fing buildings because I want to see it at night. Listening to 22 by Taylor Swift, right? And we got a little like carried away. I did that. I didn't listen to the Siri girl, and I basically there was like two freeways, and I stayed to the right. And, and instead of going like to that freeway that's totally empty, I'm in this freeway, and we went from being home in 14 minutes to being home in 32 minutes. Are you serious? Yeah, I, I feel like we're in the Kings drive-through line all no over again. Worries. Oh my God, it's happening. We're moving. Hey, I can race you guys too, you know. 